Hold on, let me pause this motivation video real quick. Was listening to some Bob Proctor, rest in peace to him. Okay guys, so today I want to bring you guys on a journey where we're going to go ahead and sublimate some colored socks. I'm going to grab two different colors. We're going to print them together. Then we're going to grab the transfer sheets, cut them together, bring them over here, press them. And we're even going to take walk around the warehouse a little bit. So if you guys are ready, follow me. Kev, cameraman, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Let's go on over to this side of the warehouse, or I should say office. So I've located the files that I want and I've mirrored them. I'm going to do a pair of this one, so that's why I'm doing two copies and a pair of this one. So obviously two copies there too. And the width is 10 inches, the height is 8 inches. Printer number one, print. Alright, let's go to the printer. Print out those four copies, two, uh, two for each pair right now. Right, so as we're waiting on those transfers to print, I'm just checking out this shipment. We received a total of 13 new pallets of product today. Let's take a quick peek. This is how our shipments come in to us wrapped nicely, palletized, sorted by style. So we like to receive them where every style is in a different palette. Like this is our athletic black, black, uh, black foot white top socks. These are our white streetwear silky socks. These are our men's premium boxers. See, we did a little long leg boxer with a star. So every box is unique for each product. That allows us to identify it from far away. So if you look at for example, these guys have a yellow tape uh, that lets us know from far away these are the yellow foot, yellow interior athletic socks. We've got the pink tape for that one, etc. So, looks like those transfer sheets are printed. Let's go and grab that here. Here is team member Maria. Maria, say what up to the camera. Hey. Did it? Working hard today? Every day. Every day. Awesome. We just got back from a sale weekend where we run a blank sale. So we got the team there packing orders. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut these transfers out. I like to use this cutter which we have in the warehouse. It has it's a, called a guillotine cutter. It just makes it real easy to kind of slice your transfers. So you can use scissors, which I do sometimes in my office, but if uh, you start getting really, you know, higher volume, I definitely recommend investing in a guillotine cutter. Just makes your cutting job much easier. All right, transfer is cut. Next step, we need to go and grab our blanks. So let's go over there where the team is actually packing blanks, and we'll get it from there. I'm gonna grab the green large for the green socks. So we've got one pair here, plus a bag, so we can bag them up when we're done. Here, so I'll grab my purple large from here. Silky baby. Alright, All right, let's go over here. This is to remember the panel. Hi. Are you <laughs> interrupting me packing a little something here? Uh, no, you're good. This one order? That's one order, yes. Oh, and this is a separate one. This is a separate one. It's a three pager, so. Three pager. Really take advantage of that sale. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at this. Three page order. I got like two of everything over here. Thanks. So you're just having to pull two of everything? Exactly. <laughs> Guess what's better than one of everything? That's true. <laughs> Second page, same thing, just two of everything. Yeah. You're putting us to work. <laughs> She's making her own sample pack, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, can't hate the customer. Got to give them what they want. Give them what they want. Do you have a motivational quote for us today? I do. So today's motivational quote is, if an opportunity doesn't knock, fill the door. Meaning, if you want something to happen, make it happen yourself. For example, for us, say we want like a TikTok trend and it doesn't work with our, with our brand, we got to make one. Mm. So if an opportunity doesn't knock, uh -huh. 
Build, build the door. Build the door. Build the door. Yes. Like build it yourself. Build it yourself. Move. Create. Do something. Yeah. Don't wait for anybody else to do it for you. you Let's get it. <laughs> When's the motivational seminar? I know. Huh? <laughs> we gotta get that one soon. All right. Soon. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. We'll be back. Going back this way. All right, so now I'm back in my room. I've got my transfers, my blanks. I also need these jigs. These are the Silky Socks Athletic Jigs. So, I like to say there's four things you need to sublimate your own socks. You need your blank socks. You need your sublimation transfer sheets, your jigs, and your heat press. So, I got the heat press on. Time to make some silkies. So first thing I want to do is load the athletic socks onto this jig. The nice thing about this jig is it's made specifically for these socks and we do sell the jig as well. But we've engineered them for this style of sock where it's got the straight part right here up top and then it's got, it curves down at the bottom so it doesn't have to stretch your foot too much. So that's how you load it right there and you want to tuck your heel in. That way it gives you a nice flat surface right here to press on. Do your first side and then remember our little flip switch and roll technique which I'll show you guys. Nicely done with these jigs and then you'll be able to do your second side. Alright, so one is loaded. Let's do the next one. Alright, so these are my two loaded socks for the purple. But yeah, the material, this uh, the Silky Socks Athletic my favorite style of sock, the most comfortable style of sock we carry and the one that I do personally wear every day. So what it is, is it's got a cotton foot that's nice and thick for comfort. So it's our thickest style of sock. Like I'm not exaggerating, it is nice and thick. We call it our athletic socks for that reason. And it's got the cotton base so it keeps you, your foot dry and, and comfortable and cozy. Then it's got the polyester up top from the ankle up. This is the part that you, you sublimate and this is the part that we stretch with our jigs. So what's nice is you're wearing a true cotton sock on the foot part and then you're sublimating the polyester part which gives you that vibrancy. So the other thing I love about this is you're literally only sublimating this top half. So. It, it's easier for you sublimators out there that are new and getting into it and wondering what should I start with. I highly recommend and start with our athletic line because by only having to cover this area, you basically have these small, remember I said this is 10 by 8 inches, so this small transfer sheet will cover this entire sock. So if you had a small size press, no problem, but um, it's much easier to do this than to load the entire sock and try to sublimate the entire sock. All right. All right, enough talking. Let's get to sublimating some silkies. All right, the press is set to 400 degrees and 35 seconds with a medium pressure, and we'll see how it comes out. All right. See how that first side plays out. Woo! Love it. Love it. You can see uh, if you close up here on that camera, on that angle, this is where the bleed of the transfer sheet was, was where the paper overlapped a little. But I don't mind that so much. I just minimized it by making sure the overlap wasn't too deep. Another thing you can do is use a piece of heat tape or put like another paper under it. I've seen people do it that way, but I like to just do a slight overlap. Makes it almost like part of the vibe. And what's cool is eventually this will start to wash out. Just this part right here. This part will stay forever. The part on the cotton will wash out a little bit with each press. I mean with each wash in your laundry. Okay, next step, flip, switch, and roll. We were joking around while the last one was pressing that I haven't shot a video in a while. It's been about two weeks off. Because uh, of the birth of my daughter, my new daughter Eliza was born on February 1st, and uh, so big blessings there. And now I'm back at Silky after a little two-week paternal leave. 
I didn't completely leave. You know, I was posting every day in our Facebook group, posting Instagram stories, but I didn't uh, come here to the office much and shoot any YouTube videos. I had to give myself a little home time, but I am definitely happy to be back. You miss it, you know, when you have a craft like this and a business and it gives you self-worth and good energy comes out of yourself and you're doing great work, then I, I like literally felt like, ah, oh, I can't wait to come back and get a dose of the work life again. Get it. All right, let's do side two. I'm going to lighten the pressure slightly because I felt it was a little on the heavy side on my first press. So there I lightened it to like more of a medium pressure. And find my transfer sheet here. And here goes side two, Kev. Transfer sheet, just overlap it slightly, as you can see down here. And I just check to see that it's kind of, it's centered and it's covering top, bottom, left, and right the way I want. And then I press away. Notice I'm not using any like glue or spray or external stuff. I just lay down my socks, load it on the jigs, Lay the transfer sheet and press it. So it's very silky uh, when we do this. And all of our products were engineered for sublimation. So that's why uh, that's why they sublimate so good and they wear so good. And this heat press is by Heat Press Nation. It's their 16 by 24 signature series. So shout out to Jimmy, Jared, and the team at Heat Press Nation uh, for collabing and hooking us up with this press. All right. Let's get it. Ooh, smoking. My favorite part right here is this reveal. Yeah. You could just hear it. You could hear it and feel the quality. Smoking. Abundance. Abundance of smoke out here. 400 degrees. See you guys from blank to this beautiful silky squad purple sock. I could wear this to LA. Staples Center, Laker colors. I think I'll just wear this at night when I'm cozy at home or to the gym, daytime, man. Wear these silkies anywhere. All right, so now what I like to do is, it's been about maybe 15, 20 seconds, then I peel at the top and a smooth, silky unload. Peel at the top, smooth, silky unload at the bottom, and you are done, skis. back side Let's take a look at the line on the side this is where I overlap uh, so eliminating like a nasty white line now you will have a little break in the pattern like you see here but that's part of the sublimation process because as you saw we're printing the front then flipping it and printing the back so you just put on your website that a slight break in the pattern will occur which is due to the nature of sublimation printing and we've been doing this now for about eight, nine, almost nine years now. Wow, Silky Sex has been around for nine years. Yeah, 2013 to 2022. So in nine years, guys, with that disclaimer, we've had very little complaints. We, you know, 99.5% of your customers are totally gonna be understanding, but you do want that disclaimer on there and kind of that part of the process. And if you are taking a 50 pair, 100 pair bulk order, just make sure you you would show them a picture of that and tell them, hey, this is how it's going to be before you run all 50. Because I don't want you to run 50 without telling the customer. And then they're just like, oh, you didn't tell me that. So just communicate with your customers and you're going to be all right. All right. But there is the final result of the purple. And I want to show them how we bag it real, real quick, Kev. So we come here. I like to fold, fold it uh, where the heel is still on the back on the outside so fold them like that that's the heel right there then I'll grab one of our baggies so anytime you buy a silky socks blank it does come with a free baggie on the side which is a nice touch then I throw it in there Boom. and then it's I like to put this flap on the back side so you peel away a little sticky adhesive right here And then you'll hit that, so that flap on the back, and there is your front. Finished, ready to ship off to your customer, 
ready to throw it in a box of 50 pairs and send it to them. Someone asked me yesterday uh, in our Facebook group if you're doing like a bulk order, should you still bag it? The answer is yes, because if they open a box of 50 or 100 of these and they're nicely bagged, that's just, they're gonna love it. They're gonna be able to hand them to their team or their players or just uh, sort through them very easily. So there's your finished look. One more thing is if you wanna add a sticker right here uh, to brand it yourself or like a little tag right here on the back or even down here at the bottom, that's a nice little branding piece. So just recommend that. All right, let's move on and hit up our green socks. All right guys, so next I'm gonna reuse the same jigs because these jigs are reusable uh, for a long, long time. We say up to three to six months, but we have jigs that some of our teams have used for a year, two years plus. So as long as they don't bend or crack too much or tear, you could just keep using them. All right, so the one thing we do want to change is this craft paper. So I'm going to toss that down. And this is just standard roll of craft paper uh, that we buy from my dad's company, A&R Box and Packaging. You can also use butcher paper. It protects the foam here, protects your heat press, and so you want to get a fresh piece uh, for pretty much every pair. All right, so now let's load these green ones same way. Shoot more videos of like these, Kev, where I'm just natural in my element making socks. I'm gonna get way faster at loading <laughs> too. I like to joke in our Facebook group that after making five pairs of socks, you'll be a sock master. So let's see how long it takes you. What do you think? After you guys make five pairs, you'll be a sock master too. Maybe ten pairs. It doesn't take too many. All right, I love this one. This says blessed, not lucky. We're blessed, not lucky, with our success, baby. And my birthday's on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, so this, uh, this has dual meaning for me. Let's get it. All right, so now, checking for the overlap, I also want to check that the text is nice and centered because this design has text, whereas the other one was more of a pattern. So that looks pretty good, covered top. Bottom, left and right, centered, and let's go ahead and press it. See that silkiness? Ooh, very silky. All right, so now we'll go ahead and do the other side. I'll flip, switch, and roll. Let's eliminate the lung. So when you do this, you just want to do a little bit so your design is facing up and then uh, the back side will connect it and kind of cover, eliminate any like nasty white line that you might have got. So if you skip this step, you'll basically get like a white line that looks something like that. So I tell people, you know, a nasty white line is not as good as a slight overlap in your design. That slight overlap in your design kind of blends in, looks nice. That nasty white line, no bueno, no bueno. So we gotta take our time with it, get that out. But as you make more of these, you guys will get much faster and it'll just become the part of the process. We'll be able to make 10, maybe 15 pairs per hour, maybe 20 pairs an hour. If you get real nice with it and you're cranking out two pairs per press maybe. All right, I'm gonna give you guys another little motivational piece that I've been working on and been on my mind. I'm reading this book called Don't Feed the Monkey Mind. It's about overcoming anxiety and procrastination. And that anxiety and fear is always gonna exist. And if we busy ourselves by not facing it, like let's say we, you know, instead of shooting this video, I'm too busy, so I just say, or I'm too kind of scared and nervous, so I say, you know what? I'm gonna get a cup of coffee instead. Or, you know what, I haven't talked to my friend in a while, he's calling me right now, let me answer that phone call. Or, you know what, I'm gonna just do all these 
emails and go delete my junk mail and I don't know random busy tasks what you're doing is you're sort of busying yourself away from the thing you really want to do the thing you really want to do face that head-on which today for this video honestly there's a lot of things a lot of excuses could have made but I was like you know what Kev let's just try this let's just see how it goes and I do like the way it came out the socks we're making the content we're shooting is dope hopefully you guys are enjoying it too and so my little piece of motivation for you guys is identify those anxiety and fear points and just one two three go face them say that to yourself out loud all right one two three go and post let's get it okay, so i've got the final socks here now i'm in the front room out here i wanted to show you guys what this interior color what's special about these socks so the interior color is also green which matches the foot color, so we call it our green foot, green interior athletic socks. That way when you sublimate the green on the exterior and you stretch it, it actually stretches to show you green rather than like a nasty white. So that allows your improved wearability. We talked about wearability uh, in, in earlier in this video where every product that I put out has to sublimate beautifully and wear beautifully, right? So now same thing with these purple socks, purple foot, white top, we sublimate the white top, and it's also got the purple interior. Yes, oh yeah. Silky smooth, beautiful, purple interior. Love these socks, guys. And I ain't even, I'm not even being dramatic here. I literally, uh, I love the way they came out. I think I like this one a little better compared to these two, but both are beautiful, and I'll be wearing both of these in the upcoming weeks. Let's get it guys. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of making those athletic socks and hanging out with us for a little bit. Until next time, do join, subscribe to this channel, join our Facebook group Sublimation with Silky Socks and connect with us on Instagram as well at Silky Socks at Danish Kasamali. And let's keep the motivation, the vibe and the awesome sublimation going. Let's keep selling. Sell some of that shit that you carry. Don't be shy. Go ahead and sell, post, and make it happen. I'm out.